Namaste and welcome to day 29 of 30 days of upright. In today's episode, we will learn about different ways you can contribute back to upright. In the official tutorial, you will be learning how to integrate Grafana. If you have not already, you can head over to the official tutorial that's available in the dev.to link is provided in the description below. First, you need to know the basics of Git and GitHub in order to contribute. So if you do not know those things, you need to learn those. Next, let me tell you why to contribute to open source project like AppRite or any other projects. The GitHub contributions or open source contribution is one of the important metrics when people are looking to hire developers. Contribution to open source in your related technology or in your related field will improve your profile by a lot. Having your GitHub profile with proper contributions linked in your resume can add a lot of value, even more than the college education in computer science. Modern startups and big companies tend to look at your open source contribution. Companies that are focused more on open source or open way of developing their software, for them, GitHub contribution is of much more importance to hire any developer. Not only that, open source has made all of our lives better. If there were no Linux, there would not be a internet as we know it today. The internet as we know it is powered mostly, not 100%, but mostly by Linux, which is a complete free and open source software. And contributing to any open source software makes the lives better for many people. Many those are using the same software and it will even help you because you'll get to learn the standards. You'll get to learn the different architectures used in that particular project. Or if you contribute to many projects, you get to learn from many things. And also you get to work with many awesome people that are maintaining the open source projects. How can you contribute to AppRite? There are multiple ways you can even contribute without writing any codes. So let's look at what repositories you can contribute to, what kind of projects you can contribute with. First, our main repository AppRite, it comes with a contributing guidelines and code of conduct. You need to read those. And in order to contribute, you can either raise an issue of the box that you are facing or you can participate in a discussion to make AppRite better or you can choose any of the issues that are leveled with probably enhancement, help wanted or even good first issue. So if you are contributing for the first times, then you can choose these issues as well. And AppRite is a very welcoming and helping community. So if you get stuck, if you want to contribute, but if you do not know where to start and how to start, you can connect to AppRite's Discord server. The link is provided here and you can talk to the contributors team. You can message in support channel. You can message in general channel. You can just come to Discord and see how active it is and how quickly you get support. One, you can either raise an issue or you can participate in a discussion or you can choose one of the issue and work on it and create a PR. But make sure to notify the team before you start working on it. Otherwise, multiple people might be working on it and your work might go in vain. Whenever you work on something and raise a PR, the team will be there to provide you support review your comments, review your code so that you'll get to learn a lot of new things. Lots of people will look at your code. They will provide feedback and they will accept or ask you to change various things, but you'll get to learn a lot of new things. Also contributing to any open source project, you need to first understand the project. You need to understand its values. So doing that, You'll also understand how the project is developed, how it is organized and how a complete open source project, large scale projects gets developed. 
and that is some awesome learning that you will not get even in your college degrees. Next, we have lots of other repositories. So another simple one you can if you do not know or if you are first time contributor, you might want to start with our docs. If you see something that you can make better in our docs, you can create a PR. Next, we have here demos for functions. So upright cloud functions, you can add demos for any language in support here that has upright SDK. You can create demos and raise a PR for functions demos. And for uprights SDKs, please understand that these SDKs actually are read only. If you look at the description, all of the SDKs are read only. That is because upright uses this SDK generator to automate the SDK generation process. So if you have any suggestions or any improvements that should go to any of the SDKs, you can raise a PR here, you can raise an issue here and you can, if you want to solve any of these problems, you can raise a pull request here. Again, read the contributing guidelines, read the code of conduct and contact the team in Discord before starting any of the contribution. So next, you can also contribute demos. You can also contribute for playground, some of the playgrounds that have not yet been worked. Another, there is an awesome AppRight repository where you can find lots of awesome resources regarding AppRight. And also, if you have any demo projects or if you have anything related to AppRight, any tutorials, any videos that you make, that can also go to this awesome repository. And another way to help AppRight or any other open source project is to make demos, make tutorials regarding those software. And AppRight being a developer focused project, you can make awesome tutorials for AppRight to help AppRight as well. So this is how you can contribute to AppRight. There are different ways. And also to mention AppRight time and again sends awesome swags to contributors and also we have been mentioning it from the beginning of the 30 days of AppRite. If you create an awesome demo and submit it to awesome AppRite, you will get some awesome swags and awesome prizes. So let's put your project here. Let's see some projects. Let's see some pull requests to awesome AppRite as well. This is all for today's episode. I hope you learned something. So contributing to open source is a nice opportunity to learn nice opportunity to get help from lots of people and nice opportunity to learn the in industry standards or even get a work experience without working anywhere. Contribute to open source project. Not only upright, you can contribute to other open source projects that you love or that is your in your particular field. Thank you. See you again in the next episode.